What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are bringing you the top 10 sneakers for back to school. I know it is finally time to go back to school. Some of you guys might be sad and no I'm not in school currently but I do think it is important to show you guys the deals out there for sneakers that are affordable or if you're on a budget. Stuff that's not crazy expensive but stuff that I still think looks good and that you could be wearing to school. Now we've got a couple different options here. I'm going to be showing you specifically. This is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you five shoes in hand that I've actually went to the mall and bought. So shoes that you can go to your local mall and buy if they're open and everything. And then I'm going to be showing you five shoes you can buy online. So different shoes. So I'm not just limited to what I have here in that certain price range. We're going to try to keep that below 150 right around there. Now, if you didn't see right behind here, we have two shoes. This isn't included in the video, but these two actually, these two fours are a part of a giveaway because we are giving away a pair of Nike Off-White Fours and the Jordan 4 Unions right here. I'll talk about that here in a little bit, but they'll be linked down below the rules to that. I just wanted to remind you before because it's going to be over soon. Also, I have to give a huge shout out to the sponsor today's video, Check Check. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and first get started with the first pair, which is going to be my favorite pair out of the bunch. Now, again, like I said, I went to my local mall here and I picked out shoes that were available in my personal size. These are all shoes that I can wear, obviously. Now, this shoe right here is a Nike Air Max 90, and they have two different colorways. Or there's a couple colorways, but this prevalent colorway is the Neon Volt Green. I did not even realize it came with a hang tag. Let's start right here. Check that. You got the nice little hang tag right there. So there are two different colorways of this shoe, this green pair right here, and there's also an orange pair. Now, I prefer the orange because if you you don't know that's my favorite color but this is one they specifically had in my size they had the orange in a size 10 but i wanted one that was wearable now the reason i like the air max 90 it is a classic silhouette of a shoe and the retail of it is about 120 dollars now there are so many different stores at the mall that had these colorways and i think this is a nice bright color you have the classic silhouette i don't think you can go wrong for a back of school shoe with this but again in my opinion i would go ahead and go for the orange pair if you can because that's personally what i like best you can see a little hint of orange right there and at 120 bucks i think it's a great option so these are going to be thrown on I could actually wear this with this outfit. Got the shorts on, got these. These are gonna be a really fire shoe. The only complaint about these is the quality is kind of bad on them. Like when I first got these in hand, I got an orange pair a while back. Kind of feels like it could be a fake shoe. Now I got this from Foot Locker, so this is a legitimate shoe, but like the quality of it is not the best, I would say. But you know, Air Max 90s aren't typically like amazing quality. So that's number one, an Air Max 90, and a shoe that I think is great for fall time coming up. I mean, it's just great in general, but especially with shorts, I like that shoe. So next shoe up is going to be another low top and that is going to be a Jordan 1 low. There are so many fire Jordan 1 low colorways. They are $100 retail. This is the particular one at the mall that I thought was decent. Wasn't my favorite, but it was what they had. Now, most likely gonna be showing you guys in the back end of this video, the other five, a pair of Jordan 1 lows that are even more fire than these online. But I wanna show you what I can go to my mall and get. Now, this is from the Nike store, $100 retail, and we have a Jordan 1 low and some sort of uh, green. I was trying to think of what I could call the green, but honestly, I'm still not 100% sure what this green is. Obviously, it's not as bright of a green as this. It's like a dark green. This is kind of like a lemony, lemon, I'm gonna call this the lemon lime colorway. Jordan 1 lows are a $100 retail, and obviously the Jordan 1 is one of the most popular Jordans ever, and I think that this is a great option. They also had a lot of Jordan 1 mids, but the Jordan 1 mids, they, they're doing too much with it. But for $100, you cannot go wrong with a Jordan 1 low, and they also had a maroon-ish colorway. That was what they had at the mall. Just wait to the end to see some more fire out of these. 100 bucks, my size, 10 and a half. Pretty cool. So the next shoe is gonna be a little bit more on the top end of the sneakers because it's going for almost retail, which I think is a great opportunity to get in to get them. Now the shoe retailed at $175. And if you can't tell what that is, a Jordan 1 Zoom. Now this is the newest colorway of the Zoom that's come out. Can't see the receipt right there. It says 175 bucks. The previous generation of the Zoom was the grayish white color pair that was kind of the cheap alternative to the Dior Jordan 1. Now I've since got rid of that in a mystery box and sold on my website. But this one seems like it'd be a lot better because that last one was patent leather and the most uncomfortable Jordan one that I've ever worn. Now this pine green is actually pretty, why do I have so many green shoes? This looks so good with this too. This one is a lot better looking in my opinion. One, because you have the nice suede here, you have the leather around here, but it's kind of like a softer material. Then you have kind of the neon green that pretty much matches this green right here. So you have the color pop, but it's kind of muted as well on the outside. If you also can't see, there is some neon stitching around on the outside of the swoosh and throughout the shoe. On the bottom of the outsole, you have that zoom crazy watermelon gradient. Another one that I think is really cool and this is one that I think is a great option for anybody looking for a Jordan 1. It is going to be on your top end but as far as newer releases go as far as comfort goes the Zoom is a pretty comfortable shoe especially when I have this kind of leather. So go ahead and try to get these. This one might not be at every store but, but it definitely is at some resale stores and I'm seeing them at resale stores for retail prices. You got 175 bucks right there. Now I could bet you money that you don't know what this shoe is right here. Comment down below if you guys know what this shoe is by looking at the box. Do not peek ahead and let me go ahead and move 
move on. So you see Nike SB. I've had a couple of these boxes recently in a few videos, but it was for a different kind of SB. This one right here is by a particular skateboarder, and I've seen some of my friends post these, and I thought they're pretty fire, so let's grab a pair. This is the Nike SB Nija Houston. So if you guys don't know, Nija Houston is a skateboarder, and this particular shoe is his specifically. He's had plenty of shoes, but this is the most recent one that he came out with like three different silhouettes, and this is the Nike SB Free 2, and look at this colorway. It's gonna be a little bit bright, and it's a little bit different of a silhouette, but I figured, look at this gradient here. It looks just like the Serena Williams Blazers. You have a pretty sweet silhouette. It's nice and simple and white. The bottom has the cool little Nike. On the other one, it says SB in pink pretty dope obviously you guys don't know sb stands for skateboard nike skateboard and that's exactly what nigel houston is is a skateboarder now this is kind of a throw off for what i typically show but for 95 bucks this is an amazing option i think and you can go to the stores and get these so shoe that's going to be comfortable and wearable when you're actually going around school and another one that i would probably still match with this because it's kind of cream but let me know what you guys think about these down below it's a little bit different it's still an sb but it's a nija so it's a little bit different than the dunks so the last shoe is actually going to be a combination of three different shoes because of their similar price points. Now I wanted to show you guys at least one Yeezy in person that I think that you guys should go for and that would be the Yeezy Zion. This one is a really good colorway for sitting around 250 bucks. I think the white outsole, the darker colors, I think this is a really neutral colored shoe that could go well with this crew neck. Retail on these is 220 but if you can drop that higher end price around 250 this would be the easy to go. But I wanna show you two Jordan 1 options on that same front. We have the Jordan 1 Smoke Gray right here. I've showed you these about the same price as those. And these are really, these are supposed to be the cheap Jordan 1 Union, but I think this is its own shoe. And I've been wearing these a lot actually since I got them because I actually really like the colorway. So these coming around the same, around 240, 250. So I think for a Jordan 1, this or the Jordan 1 Court Purple from this year, this is an amazing sneaker, especially if you do the custom on it that I see a lot of people do where you take rubbing alcohol to this it fades it to look like a faded purple or like a suede purple kind of like a travis scott and you can kind of brown the outsole make it look super vintage one of my buddies did that and i think it looks so good again this one is about 250 bucks if you're in that price range why not go for something like this i think this is fire i think i'm gonna do the custom of this soon because these aren't going too up in value so i think it wouldn't hurt me too much okay before we go down to show you guys the rest of the shoes on the computer in the office i want to show you guys the giveaway details real quick so yes we are giving away two pairs of jordan fours that are the most hyped right now that is one the jordan Jordan 4 Union right here. This grew on me so much. If you didn't see that video that I did on these, I cut the tongue. They look amazing. We're giving away this pair of sneaker knockers as well as we're giving away a pair of Jordan 4 Off-Whites with our friends over at Sneaker Fleet. Now, these both giveaways are ending very soon, so go ahead and make sure to check out the rules down below. Again, make sure you're following all the rules because I've had so many winners of these giveaways that don't follow, like they don't subscribe to the channel, stuff like that, so go ahead and check that out down below. Make sure you get in because why would you not want a free pair of Jordan 4 Unions or Jordan 4 Off-Whites too? <laughs> All right guys, so the sponsor of today's video, Check Check. If you didn't see a video I did a few weeks back, they're essentially an app that lets you legit check your sneakers. So let's say you're going to buy some shoes for school or you're buying an expensive pair of shoes like I just did, the off-white Jordan 4s. I went and picked these up from a local new store. Now, I trust this store, but I wanna get a second opinion to make sure that the shoes I'm purchasing are legit. I think it's just a smart and safe thing. How the app works is you basically pay for credit on the app. You get a legit check done in 12 hours for just $1. So it's actually pretty cheap. You can get it done quickly as 30 minutes for three bucks. Essentially, you go ahead and take a few few photos that they asked for on the app, you submit it and then they tell you if it's legit or fake. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that with this pair right here and then we'll get back with the results. So I just finished up with all the photos. I'm gonna go ahead and select three credits for a 30 minute legit check. I'm gonna go ahead and submit it. I'm gonna confirm and pay. Now, if you guys use code Harrison Neville, you can get your first legit check free. I believe you get a free 30 minute legit check. So go ahead and use that code while we wait to go ahead and see my results and we'll check back in. We just got the results back. It was six minutes that it took, absolutely insane. And these did pass. Now I knew that they were gonna pass because it's a legitimate store out here in Atlanta. Go ahead, check out the app down below. I'll be linking it and use code Harrison Neville. Let's go ahead and show you guys the remaining five shoes. So guys, I'm also teaming up with Check Check again to do another giveaway for a shoe worth up to $500 for you guys. Last time we gave away a Nike Dunk Syracuse, but all you have to do for that giveaway is you have to one, subscribe to the channel, two, follow Check Check app on Instagram, and number three, download the Check Check app, and then leave a comment down below on this video with your Instagram username, letting us know that you followed all the rules. We'll pick a winner in two weeks time. As much as I love this vibe in this room, it's a little bit dark for what I like. Go ahead and turn on the actual lights, ready? There we go. Wow, that's a lot brighter. All right guys, so we're now on the computer. I wanna show you briefly some different shoes that I would pick if I were you guys, if you were picking a shoe online instead of having to go 
in store. Now, again, like I said, the Jordan 1 Low is a great option. The first one is going to be this Jordan 1 Low Reverse Bread. Amazing colorway. There's a lot of Jordan 1s that have come out like this. Retail is 90 bucks. You can get it for $114 right now, which means you can probably still find them at some certain stores, depending on how interested your area is in sneakers, but this is a great one. And there's another option I wanna to add to this, which is the Gym Red White. This one looks even better in my opinion, and I would rock these all day. I tried to get a pair of these the other day, but weren't my size. That one comes in around 120 bucks for my size. This is about 114, so not bad at all. Retail is 90 bucks, 20 on top, can't go wrong. Next up is going to be in the Adidas realm, which is going to be the Yeezy V2 Israfil, Israfil. I'm not 100% sure on how to lace these, but if you guys saw the Zion that we talked about earlier, if I was gonna go for like a crazy different colorway, I would say this one for the price range, because it's right around retail. I like other ones like the linens right here, but it's a little bit more expensive, and then you have the Earths as well. Those Earths are a great colorway, a little bit tan, a little bit brown, but again, a little bit more expensive. If you guys are a fan of the Jordan 3, I think the Jordan 3 Laser Orange is a great one. It's kind of like a Laker Jordan 3 in my opinion. Looks really good. I'm not a big fan of 3s because of how puffy they look on me, but I think this colorway is pretty fire. Next up is going to be the Japan Neutral Gray Jordan 1. This one came out pretty recently. It came out last weekend, I believe. Yep, $170 retail. A little bit more on the expensive side, sitting around 250 bucks, but I think it's a great looking colorway. Will probably go up over time. And then lastly, we have the Nike Air Max One in the anniversary green. This is fire. This reminds me, I want this pair right here really bad. It's on the $200 price range, it was $140 retail, but still so far, I need this. I would take these over the green pair that I got, or even these anniversary orange. The colors in this is perfect. This look a lot better quality than the ones that I got. Now, obviously these are an Air Max One, not an Air Max 90, but I still think that the quality should be close. And it really isn't. All right, guys, so there's one more shoe that I have to include, and that is the Nike Blazer. I show this in a lot of these videos when it comes to back to school and stuff like that, but it is just such a good versatile shoe. Like, you can see how worn these are. They're 100 bucks. They had multiple colors at my Nike store. They had a purple one that was insane. So it's one that I think you definitely should look at too for 100 bucks, but I didn't want to include it at the main because I always include in every video. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Consider becoming a member and joining down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison. Signing out.